My name is Brandon Blackwell. I'm a freelance front of house and monitor engineer, and we are on the Injured Generation Tour with ASAP Rocky. So in total, I've been with ASAP Rocky for the past four to five years, a little bit on and off. Um, I kind of jump out and do other artists. Um, the last time I mixed him was 2012. I got a call to come back and I was happy because when the artist wants you to come back and trust you with their show, it makes me feel really good. So we are two weeks into the tour. We're over that first week of uh, tough times and now we're cruising down the line. Everyone, including myself and the crew, we're very happy at this time. For this tour, it's very different. It's one man on stage. He brings all the energy, and my favorite part has to be just looking around at the crowd, knowing that they can hear every single word that he's saying, and vice versa, chanting it back to him. It's the most incredible feeling you can ever have. In my opinion, I'm a small part of it, but it's one of those feelings that you can't, you can't explain it. You know, you have to actually witness it and feel it yourself. So when I first got interested in, into the live side, um, I was maybe six or seven years old, maybe eight, and happened to be in church. Nothing crazy, you know, I think it was like a little 16 channel mixer, but I would watch the operator every Sunday and I would tell my mom, I wanna do that. And one day I just got the courage and asked the guy, can you teach me this? And he did. That was my start to sound. So as I was completing high school, I found Full Sail University down in Orlando. It seemed like the perfect opportunity and the perfect course. During my time at Full Sail, I took full advantage of every single thing. Um, teachers and, and the instructors, I was calling them, I was gigging on the weekends, and just anything live, the event, I was a part of. That made me super excited because it was like, that's the potential and the future that I want after I graduate school. Up until that point, I didn't want to leave, but you know, at a certain point, you have to finish, you know, that journey. And I owe a lot, a lot to Full Sail and the success of my career. While I was at Full Sail, I studied in the show production and touring program. The daily schedule was that of almost like how it is when we tour. Four hours of lecture, and then we do four hours of lab. You know, reading how other engineers or other designers or how the professionals do it. And then going into the lab, we take it on as ourselves and kind of build our own way in how to do it. There are a couple of instructors, um, one by the name of John Sheldon who is a modern engineer, he used to do Axl Rose. And then there's another gentleman by the name of Vince Lepore. Vince Lepore was very uh, nurturing and kind of helped me out in a way, giving me words of advice. And then John, on the other hand, was very standoffish. The whole goal of me going to Full Sail was I wanted to work for a major sound um, company. Leading up to graduation, I called them and unfortunately they had got their pick of, you know, the Full Sail grads. Vince, you know, he, he gave me options to do other things. And John, at, at my most bare bottom, emotionally distressed time of my life, he didn't do anything. And I was like, you know, you're, you're my teacher, you're my mentor, I need you. You know, you are what I wanna be. A couple years later, I go back to school and we talk and he's like, that's what you needed. In the moment, I did not wanna, I, you know, that meant nothing to me because I was down and I was sad. But once he told me that, I was like, you're right. Because that made me stronger, it made me hungrier. And it changed my path or the thought of the path that I had after graduating. This mentality I think that people have is that there's one journey, you know, and there's an end goal, but there's many journeys and pathways to get to that. I had one straight away and then I had to make a right and then another straight away and I got, you know, I'm still on that journey till today, but it's, you know, it's all about that journey to get to the end. That's my origin story. <laughs> so at Full Sail, the lab, we would get this thing called open lab time. I would spend my time on um, anything digital and my thought process was, I'm never going to see this console for years in my career. Why not take advantage of it? It's, you know, it's there for me. Fast forward, Digico is the desk that I use primarily when I have the opportunity to you know, spec my own console. Graduating and going into the first gig, I knew this desk like the back of my hand to the point where I am sometimes, you know, troubleshooting for the other engineer opposite of me or um, helping out buddies on a phone call or a Skype. I wish Digico would call me and have me be one of their guys, but you know, that'll come later, I guess. A couple months after graduating school, I had been back home in New Jersey. My mom happens to, her boss happens to meet, at the time, the musical director of American Idol. 
name is Ray Chu. At the time, I didn't care. For me at that time in my life, I just wanted to fly speakers. I wanted to put the speakers in the air and I wanted to be on a tour in a bus. And so I thought nothing of it. You know, 21 year old, just home from college. I happened to be watching television and I forgot what award show it was. I think it was Alicia Keys or someone mentioned his name. I wanna give a shout out and thank you to Ray Chu. And that's when it all clicked. And I was like, well, can you set up a meeting with him? I met Ray and his lovely wife, Vivian. And he said, I have a show on Saturday in upstate New York. I can't pay you or anything, but I think you may want to go. I had a gig that, that day, a paid gig. And, you know, in my mind, I'm like, okay. He kind of takes a break and he says, it's uh, Robert De Niro's birthday at his house in upstate New York. And I'm like, this is Robert De Niro. Like, meet the parents. Like, this is insane. Uh, so I call up my friend, who, who's a mentor now, and I say, hey man, like I have this opportunity to do something. Is it okay if I miss this gig? And he said, of course. That was my turning point in this whole, you know, what I wanted to do for my career. This was like, this was it. Samuel L. Jackson walks in front of me and I'm like, I, I can't believe this is happening. I mean, this is insane. And that's kind of when I was like, this is what I want to do. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to mixing but let's let's see what this path you know takes me on